Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn the difference between complementary angles and supplementary angles. So the first difference is what are complementary angles and what are supplementary angles. So let's see how we can differentiate them. If the sum of two angles, so in complementary and supplementary angles we talk about the pair of angles, not a single. If the sum of two angles is equals to 90 degrees, then the two angles are called complementary angles. So you can say that if you have one angle that is 45 degree and the other angle is also 45 degree and this sum is equals to 90 degree then you can say that these two angles are complementary angles so this is how how complementary angles are defined so now what are supplementary angles the sum of two angles is equals to 180 degrees then the two angles are said to be supplementary angles for example if we have one angle that is of my ear 120 degree and the other is of 60 degree and their sum is equals to 180 degree then we can say that these two angles are supplementary angles so sometimes people get confused about how to remember that which one is the sub supplementary and the which one is the complementary so let's say how you can remember these things now for complementary angle i'll write a sentence that will help you to memorize it that is, when you are right, you got a compliment. So, this is a sentence. Now, what is the purpose of this sentence? This sentence will help you to memorize that which pair of angle is complementary and which pair of angle is supplementary. So, from this sentence, you can see that when you are right, now right refers to 90 degrees. Like in right angle, you got a compliment. It means in complementary angles, you have the two angles which sum up together will result in the angle that is equal to 90 degree that is equal to right angle so this is how you can memorize the complementary angles now how you can memorize the supplementary angles you can memorize the uh, the supplementary angles by its word that is supplement so supplement basically refers to something extra or big so the supplementary angles are the angles which sum up together to give you 180 degree and 180 degree is greater than 90 degree so it means supplementary angles are big as compared to the complementary angles so you can memorize it like this as well as you can also memorize as s is for supplementary and s is for straight as well now what is this straight in supplementary angle you are making the straight angles straight angle is basically an angle that is equal to 180 degree how it is straight if I draw here a small diagram, then this is 180 degree angle. So, if you start from here and ends here, so this is a 180 degree angle and this is also called a straight angle. So, in supplementary, you have the straight, uh, you have the straight angle after adding up the two angles. So, this is also the one method that you can use to memorize it. Thirdly, let's draw a diagram to show the angles that are supplementary and complementary. If I draw like this, this is a you can say coordinate system and if one angle is if i draw it like this so if this angle is of 40 degree and this angle is of 50 degree so you can say that these two angles are adjacent angles and they are making complementary angles a pair these are the pair of complementary angles so if i say this is if i label it as o this is a this is b and this is C. So, I can write here that angle A O B plus angle B O C is equals to 90 degree and these are the pair of complementary angles. So, if I write here the values as well 50 plus 40 is equals to 90 degree. So, these are complementary angles. So, it is not necessary that the complementary angles should be adjacent to each other. So, it is not necessary that they must be adjacent to each other. So, if they happen to be adjacent to each other, they will form a right angle. This one. This is a right angle. Because they are sharing the same line and they are adjacent to each other. Both 40 and 50 degree angles are adjacent to each other they are also called adjacent angles so while in case of complementary angles let's draw it as well if i draw it like this is a straight line just for the sake of your ease this is x c b a d so this is how we have labeled 
So the angle, look for the complementary angle. We have to look for the 180 degree angle. So 180 degree angle as I have made here will be like this. So if I draw like this, this will be, uh, a, compl uh, this will be a supplementary angle. So how we can write it? We can write it as sum of angle A X B plus angle B X C will be equals to 180 degrees. For example, if you are given with this angle, you can find this angle. And if you are given with this angle, you can find this angle. So this is how supplementary and complementary angles can also be used to find the angles as by using if their formulas as it will uh, give you that if the two angles sum up and give uh, and will uh, and they are um, supplementary to each other it means they must be equal to 180 degree and if the two angles sum up and they and com they are complementary to, uh, angles they must sum up to 90 degree so in supplementary angles if they happen to be adjacent like in this case they are sharing this line so they are adjacent angles so they these they they will if they are, if they happen to be adjacent they form a straight line this is a straight line angle that's why it is also called a straight line angle and as for straight and as for supplementary angle so that you can easily memorize it so these formulas basically help you in various in in your different geometrical problems while finding the angle so keep this in mind whenever you are given with the uh, uh, whenever you are given in the problem that the two angles are complementary and uh, one angle is given you can easily find the other angle because you know that the, the two if you sum the two angles you will get 90 degree and if you sum the two angles uh, it will be 180 degree if it is said that they are supplementary angles. So that's all from today's lecture. Thank you.